right so eclipse so we will start a new uh, project android project so i'll name it as uh, intent example intent example and application name i will make it as again main okay so that's done so here when it's been done i have to choose the target 2.2 .2. um it's there so package name must be specified okay so i will say that com dot ram dot um intent example so that's done so once it's done so i have to uh, start working on the layouts so let's uh, finish it so here we are having the intent example so then uh, i have to look for the layout i am copying this uh, menu um, layout copy and again i am pasting over in the same location so here i am planning to make it as second right so it's a second okay then in the source file i am having a main activity dot java file i have to have a corresponding source file for my second so what i am going to do here is i am going to copy then uh, paste over here so what i am planning to have is uh, the name of the file as second activity okay so it's done now here when you look into that it is not having second dot xml it's because of this so i'll just uh, delete and uh, copy the file again so new um, copy then uh, paste it's as second dot xml xml so you can see the difference okay so now i am planning to have a main.xml file so i'll close other files which are there in my screen so close all so now main.xml so it's there it's having a hello main activity there is a uh, input which is being there in fact uh, regarding this text i just want to um, make this into um form one so what i'm planning to do is so in the values in the string file so in the hello so i am planning to make it into main form so then i have to save this done let's see the layout so it would have changed to main dot form now here in the content i want to make it into the center so what i'll do is i'll try with gravity center so it's moved to the center place here i'm going to have a button okay so what i'll do is i'll drag a button and put over here i just want to have this button in the center of the screen so in the properties i'll make the layout property of layout gravity to center so it's done now i want to make it into move next i want to make change on this id so what i'll do is it's uh, button one is there which i'll make it to btn next okay now i want to make the change on the text so what i'll do is so it's uh, button title isn't it so here btn underscore title what is the string is to second form or i'll put just uh, next okay so it's being made to next now i have to design the second form here which is being there so here 
the main form it is again when you look into that it is displaying main form where regarding this edit text in spite of hello I am going to create a new string so here so second form or else we use activity activity title so what is it it's going to say that second activity okay so so if you have a look on it it's displaying second activity as we did here so I have to make it into the center uh, of the application so here I am going to make change on gravity and on center dot now let's move to the main dot XML file so whatever the changes that you make on this application you just uh, save it because it's very very because it has to generate the R dot Java file so it's very very important that well, whatever be the changes that you create it's better to save it immediately right so here we are having a main and likewise we are we need a button in the second dot XML so what I'll do is I'll put the second dot XML here then um, edit text before going to that I'll make the property of the layout okay so layout gravity to center it's done now I want to make this as close to uh, close this second activity so uh, edit text so button um, button second sorry new string button second title so it's to end so end is the title ok so end is there so I want to make this ID also as btn end ok it's done now we have to create the events for these buttons so first I am planning to make change on main activity Java so here when you look into that it's uh, having this uh, error so what is because of this so when I say project build all so you can see that that error which is being there would have vanished okay now let's uh, create the event so what I am planning to button BT n right so I have to import the corresponding widget for button so it's uh, I have to use this and it is uh, imported when you look into that it, you can see that import android widget dot button ok so if you are going to plan for every um, widget so what you can do is you can use the star mark over here so you can download you can uh, use any uh, components of this particular widgets so then I have to make the reference associated with the layout to this application so btn equal to button so find view by id so r dot layout so r dot id dot so you can see that button next btn next we have created the id for that so it is the one so I am creating it here then I want to associate it with a event listener so btn dot on set on click listener so what I have to do new view dot on click listener so it has to happen during that so what is the thing that has to happen so we are we have to have the intent which is to be moved so here the usage is as follows so what I have to do is intent intent equal to new of intent ok so from where I have to move to this so I have to move from main activity dot this to second activity 
dot java so um, sorry it's for dot class so it's a class file so dot class now here you can see the uh, error it can be replaced by semicolon so here we are having an error over here also then uh, the reason is we have to import the android or content so once it's done you can see that now the color of intent is being that it is unused so what i'm planning to do is start activity intent okay so it's done now we have to make change on the second activity so the this the what happen is like when you run this program it will get done before doing that so you have to make change on your android manifest xml you have to inform android that there is an activity which is there in my application so in the android manifest file so you have to inform it so what you have to do is so in the android manifest dot xml file you have to add the activity activity okay so the thing is android name is android so android colon name equal to okay so it's second activity so the second activity is the one which you are going to have here so let's uh, here in the second activity we have to make change we have to associate the layout so we have to remove the dot second okay so this is the next phase we have to do on the second activity okay now we will check the functionality of this application so i'll use run as android application so once it's done the process what we have did is when i click the button it will take me to the second activity when i click the second activity button we haven't written any actions still now so that is uh, the next is task which we have to do so here um, it's in the previous stage so next when i click to that it is taking me to the second so when i click the end button no action is taking place okay let's see how to um, use the functionality here in the second activity so i am again creating an um, event a uh, listener for the second activity so here button btn end okay so it's done now i want to associate it with my layout so here what i am planning to do btn end equal to button find view by id of r dot id dot button n okay so you can see the error coming over here it's because of the um we haven't imported the corresponding widget okay it's done right now we have to associate with the even listener okay btn end dot set on click okay so we will see this set on click listener so what i'll do is set on click listener okay new of view dot on click listener right so it's done so what is the thing that i have to write over here is i am just want to close this screen so what i can use is finish right so and semicolon at the end of this so it's done now we try to see what is happening over there run as android application so it's installing okay it's starting it in the emulator let's see what is okay so our main form is there 
when I click the next button it will taking to the second one when I press the end it's finishing the option and taking me to the first form so in this uh, exercise we have seen a simple way of using the intent okay so like that we have got a uh, lot of functionalities which we can build on the application and make the Android application in an efficient and effective way thank you